how do you change the default tag placed for something? It's a great question. It's a somewhat simple one, but I'll definitely add some flavor to it. I'll go ahead and share my screen again. As far as tagging elements in your project, regardless of what it is, all elements in a Revit project are specific to a family category. So again, I've got a plumbing model open here. So I've got some different plumbing fixtures, which are of the plumbing fixture category. I've got my pipes themselves, which are of the pipe category. Uh, the pipe fittings connecting the different pipes are of the pipe fitting category. This ties into our tags because our tags are also category dependent. So if we're using our tag tools, whether it's tag by category individually or our tag all tool to tag all elements of a certain category in the view, the tag that Revit is actually applying is determined in our loaded tags and symbol settings, which is here in this small little drop down on the word tag itself in your annotate tab. If we look at the loaded tags and symbols here, we'll see a list of all Revit family categories that could possibly exist in our Revit project. But we of course only have tags loaded and assigned to the categories that we're concerned about tagging. So as a, an example, to keep things consistent here, if I scroll down to the pipes category, my drop down here allows me to choose from the different tag families that I have loaded into my project. So I have multiple pipe category tags loaded into this project, and I can specify which one is being used when I use my tag tools. So if I assign my pipe size tag here, which is just a tag that indicates the size of the pipe, anytime I tag a pipe, it will give me my pipe size tag. Now I can of course select any existing tag and change to any of the other loaded tags that I have available. For example, that pipe and prep tag, which isn't populated for this element. So we'll go to the system abbreviation tag instead, which is also not populated. Wouldn't be a live demo without some issues. Here's my bottom elevation tag. So I've got multiple tags that are usable in the project but depending on which one is actually assigned to the category determines which one is used by default. So that's how you specifically assign it. Uh, and with that said, I think it's a best practice to have multiple different tag families available that tag different pieces of information, different parameters, so that you can easily swap which one is assigned or which one is being used in the view for that matter.